Good morning, ladies. Just a quick how-to this morning. Uh, someone asked a question about my latest paper bag mini, how I uh, added the extra pages to it. And this is the mini. And here is an extra page that's added to the mini. And so I got this idea from Pinkaboo. And what I did was I took two paper bags like this and on the one paper bag at the bottom in the flap I cut in a at an angle here and on this side and then the, just this side just slips into the other opening of the paper bag like this and then you can use some type of adhesive here to make that keep that from slipping and here you've added another page to your paper bag and on the back you can um, also adhere this down and you can leave that open to add your tags so that's what I did there and I'd like to show you also some other projects that I have been working on or that I have worked on and you've all seen the altered clothespin. Uh, so this is mine. Pull this up. Sorry for the shaking. And what I did was I gessoed the front and back and the sides of the clothespin. I added some of that ribbon trim at the bottom. Also, this is one of my flowers that I make using ribbon. This is a paper punched out flower. I added some bling there and all the way up here. And this is one of the um, butterflies from a paper collection. And I added some of the half back pearls here and another paper flower and then this is a picture of my granddaughter on the other side I added some more of the trim I added a metal key and heart and also a heart locket here I added a feather and here's another one of those flowers ribbon flowers this is a picture of my daughter here are some more of the pearls and another picture of my granddaughter and this is just a little cut out from the Mariposa paper collection so this just sits here on my desk my scrap desk and another thing that I made was this little um, desk feature um, and I used the top note shape on the outside and also on the inside I used a um, shape that fits inside this bigger shape I added some of the pearls and this flower I punched out using one of my punches but I used some discarded pieces from a photo that I cropped so you can see the glossiness of that and I added a little bling in the middle and this is just the Sizzix leave dye that I used to accent the top of that and I added a little stand there on the back so that it can set up and this is a mini that I'm working on and not quite completed all of the pages um, here are some cream of flowers that someone sent me uh, paper flower and this is um, the Martha Stewart butterfly punch and it's adhered to a mini clothespin got this idea from another youtuber and as soon as I finish all of the pages then I'll give you a um, tour of it and this is another example of the one page mini bind album and Another thing that I've been working on, if you look over this way, is a quilt for my son. So I got the sewing, caught the sewing bug, I guess you could say. And I 
I'm making that for him to put on his bed. So um, I'm glad I got that um, interest going again because I also love to sew. So that's just some of the things I'm working on. And also, I'm looking forward to showing you the, the creations from my toilet paper mini swap. Um, everything is going along. All the ladies are are excited, and um, some have even finished their creations. And so, as soon as I get those in, I'll be showing you their um, their creations. And um, we're just having a lot of fun making those. And um, we're going to have even more fun when we swap them out and everybody puts theirs together. So, thank you for watching. Thanks um, to those who subscribe and. Have a good day. Bye.